Right, so welcome back to the shop. And today, this is another question that someone asked me. This is about aluminium anodizing. And uh, why do we do it? You know, is it just to make it pretty or is there another reason? Um, so, there are two types of anodizing really out there. There are anodizing of aluminium and there's anodizing of titanium. I'm sure there's probably some more, but it's not something I generally use and I've never come across, and generally, most people won't come across it. So, uh, medical instruments that are made out of titanium are usually anodized to make them either less reflective or basically so they can see that they dropped them in your dead body or, <laughs> hopefully, or maybe even not your dead body. But yeah, generally uh, medical instruments that are made out of titanium are anodized. Generally the blue, uh, because nothing inside you is generally blue, uh, so they'll be easy to see. Um, the anodizing of titanium we will actually go through in a different video because it's a different process altogether. It's not about st crystalline structures and so on. Um, anodizing aluminium because, you know, stuff like this. So this sprocket that's been sat here forever, you know, aluminium is not that colour. And uh, it's not even the aluminium that's that colour now. So what we do with anodizing is that aluminium, uh, pure aluminium, is uh, you've probably never touched it in your life because the simple fact is, is we have a surface made out of aluminium what happens is is the aluminium will oxidize and i think it's picoseconds is the rate of oxidization so if you scratch something it's tens of thousandths of a second that that will oxidize with the o2 in the atmosphere and it forms a layer and this layer is aluminium oxide aluminium oxide i did write this down is two in it yeah that's the one two or three shut up um, so yeah it's this al203 that's aluminium oxide aluminium oxide is awesome stuff so it has a melting temperature um, and this is why we have to use ac um uh, ac welding tig welding to weld aluminium um i think it's 2073 it's probably been a while since I've done this, the numbers might be not shit hot. Um, but it's 2000, 2000 degrees Celsius, which is fucking hot, you know. Most steels will shit the bed at 1500. Um, so that's the uh, temperature that it melts at. So it's, um, you know, it's uh, thermal characteristics, it's thermal resistance is really quite good. Um, the reason why your pistons will melt a lot lower than that is because it's a very, very thin layer. This is a oxi oxidized layer basically it's basically aluminium rust um the other thing about uh, aluminium oxide is it's hard as a fucking coffin nail so it's uh, rockwell rockwell c and we'll go into what rockwell c is and all the rest of it and b's and stuff like that in a later video it's rockwell c hardness is between 60 and 70 um which is fucking hard with uh you know some of your hardest steels um, stuff like files and stuff coming around about 65 you know which is quite incredible because this is aluminium pure aluminium itself is soft as dog shit um, so having between 60 65 and 70 rockwell is fucking hard uh, cheaper sandpapers expensive grinding wheels and sandpapers and stuff I've made out of cubic zirconia and other ceramics will go into that layer um, but uh, you know cheaper sandpaper or general purpose sandpaper is usually aluminium oxide that's why because it's you know it's got such a high hardness that's why it you know, sands away your steel and stuff like that um but anodizing itself actually getting to it instead of just blabbing on about all this shit, <laughs> um anodizing itself so what we want to do is we want to protect the aluminium it'll oxidize itself anyway so when you get a piece of aluminium just say usually an extruded piece um, of aluminium it already has an oxide layer on it so this is the oxide here and what we need to do is we need to strip that back because we can't do anything with it in its oxidized state so we stick it in some acid and do some electrolysis basically we blow off we blow off this um, oxidized layer not completely generally what we do is we blow holes through it so it's very porous it's a bit like a sponge then what we do is quickly quickly 
is that you basically dunk your anodized your part that you are trying to anodize so just say this rocket we dunk this in a die so that blue color you're seeing there is literally a die it's nothing to do with the mechanical properties of the aluminium you haven't changed we're basically you think about when you see pictures of human pores in their skin it's kind of like this to a degree what we do is we fill this up with a blue dye uh, on all the you know, microfine pockets of the aluminium because we've basically blown holes through it, we're using our electrolysis and then what we do is we um, then we basically treat it uh, a lot of times, sometimes they do it with uh, steam and stuff like that what you can do is you can basically put it in a high oxygen rich atmosphere or something like that and you build up this uh, oxide layer again so now what happens is is this is this is your aluminium this is your aluminium oxide there so now we've got this really hard you know this 60 70 rockwell hardness surface it's not very deep um, but it is a protective layer it also stops the aluminium itself from oxidizing it's a barrier because this is already oxidized and when O2 comes in it just basically fucks off it's, it's not going to react the base metal underneath is quite safe from further oxidization unless damage happens and all sorts of weird stuff but in your pores we have this blue pigment which gives it this sheen so the blue pigment and stuff weirdly enough we don't just anodize it to make it look pretty and impre impress all the girls so you get your dick sucked it's also um, a good wear indicator or a stress indicator you can actually use the um, anodizing to um, signify a wear or something like that in certain components i'm trying to think of a brilliant example now nah, i'm just getting to the end of the day i'm sure i'll look <laughs> but you can actually you, you know you can actually use you can see where rubber marks and all this because it basically abrades away at this uh, surface so your blue starts to turn into what looks like aluminium um but yeah the other thing is you can make it look all pretty and stuff i will do a video on titanium um anodizing that's a different process um, but the reasons to do it are basically the same. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.